Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3. Alright, so, we have done everything we can do here in town yet. So, it's time to leave. <clears throat> um, I also didn't check to see what would be better for uh, Maskerin in terms of wands. So, um, probably need to do that. But first, we're going to come over here and talk to Obright. The Varlet army is struggling. I don't think we can count on them. There. Another one was just defeated. The Spiral army is as powerful as they're said to be, King Benetrim. So, we finally found you. You're Obright from the Proton army. Why are you here? As my senses cleared, Toby told me of the town's closure and your plight. I rushed here hoping to spot you. I knew once you heard of the closure, you'd try to ex assess the situation. No better place to do that than here. This must mean you've decided to uh, help us escape through Duncan's secret passage to Dwarf Hill. Dwarf's Hill, right? I didn't think anyone knew about the secret passage. You're called the wisest general for a reason, King Benetrim. <laughs> yeah, this is stuff that we were supposed to learn by, you know, talking to NPCs, but we're just progressing the story, so... How does King Benetrim figure these things out? I'm amazed. I've been separated from the Proton Army, but I'm still loyal to the Republic. Please, allow me to join your force. Oh, Bright the Warrior joined the force. So, uh, yeah. Let's head to Duncan's house. Toby should be there already. Alright, let's take a look at our newest party member. I've also changed the, uh, the window color, if you didn't notice, uh, to make some of the the colors for uh, uh, text stand out a little bit better, so made it darker. Let's see, Obright is a warrior. He's an axe-wielding, uh, level 3, 14 HP, attack of 16, defense of 10, agility of 6, luck of 4, movement of 6. No magic, obviously, and in fact, he takes extra damage to a lot of magic, uh, specifically light-based. Items, he's just going to carry a small axe, and his friendship... Uh, he increases people's defense, but obviously he has no friendship with anyone because he just joined. So, we've got that as a thing. Alright, um... Now we need to go talk to Toby, which is... Gonna be over here. Because what we need to do is we need to leave through that, uh... That well. What took you long, so so long ago, right? And what is... Who are these people from the Republic? Did a lot of thinking, Toby. I can't go there alone. That's why I spoke to these people. What do we do, Duncan? We don't want anyone to know about the passageway. You want that? Isn't that bad? Listen carefully, Toby. They're being hunted by the Empire. If they don't escape, they're dead. The secret tunnel I've been digging for years opens at the well ahead. No one else knows about it. However, I owe Obright for saving Toby, and you all seem like good people. You know, I'm glad the passageway I built for fun is being used to save lives, especially if it saves the king's life. Thank you for your help. I found out who's behind this war, and I promise to return your favor. Please proceed carefully. I hope you remain safe. Elba seems speed to you. So, we go out the door, and we can enter... Here. There's a well with a ladder leading down. Do you want to follow the passageway? Yes. Yes, we do. I love the music. Oh my god, the music is just so... This is Dwarf Valley. This is where Toby was attacked. Savage land, few dare enter. There's no telling what danger awaits. Be careful, Symbios. I don't know what it is about Saturn music, but it just always... Shining Force 3, Magic Night Ray Earth, 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 uh, Mysteria, just so many of these games, their, their music is just... Alright, so we've got 
a bunch of new enemies. Pretty much everything is going to be new. Uh, and I believe these are enemy spawn generators here. They will just keep showing up here. You want to be careful about that. Uh, and there are some treasures around this map that we need to explore. There's a treasure chest here. I believe we can also examine that rock. And then I think there's something in one of these uh, barrels. So and as you can see, there's a pathway leading up here that goes around. And then we've got the main path leading up here. And then this section. So let's take a look and see what bad guys we've got. So we've got our bat friends that are uh, back for more. We have worms. HP of 18, movement of 4, attack of 14, defense of 9, agility of 5, luck of 2. I believe they also have the ability to poison. We have snipers. HP of 16, movement of 5, attack of 13, defense of 9, agility of 8, luck of 2. So we've got ranged units to start off with now. And we've got Skavens, HP of 16, movement of 5, attack of 12, defense of 8, agility of 9, the luck of 2. So they're like little, uh, little rat people. Stupid, stupid rat creatures. Alright, so we've got a lot of these guys to deal with, so... This is, this is a fun fight. I honestly do not even remember what I'm gonna want to do in this fight. So, yeah. That's a thing. Alright, let's come over here and we're going to... Uh, I don't know if killing the barrels gives us weapon experience or not. Well, considering Symbios has not actually learned a special yet, and Masquerin has, Let's go ahead and clear out the barrels. Learns Lance? Okay, so we can! So Symbios learns Lance Charge, so he's learned his first special. Alright. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember where the treasures are in the map. So give me one second as I'm, uh, positioning people. And we're going to, uh, look at this. And we're gonna put Ob right there. That, that seems like it's good. Let's see. Battle 3 was that. Battle 4. Alright, so... Okay, so yeah, no. Uh, there's three items. There's a antidote herb, a medical herb, and a defense bracer in the chest up here. So we're just going to go for that, and we're just going to go up around this way. So the ever-respawning enemies, that's fine, apparently. Like, I don't think we're going to need to worry too much about that. It would be nice to kill everyone, but not necessary. So we're just going to move people along. I would greatly like to be able to kill things, but... Ah, oh, there we go. The bat's gonna show up and do one point of damage to us. One damage, and we're... I don't know... Like, we're level 4, except for Obright, who's level 3. So I don't think we're actually high enough level to, uh... For this is not going to be a, uh... A bad thing. <laughs> like, there, there is a possibility that we're gonna have some some iffiness to this situation. So, uh, that's Maskrin. Maskrin doesn't need to get the kill. So Maskrin's just gonna move there. Symbios, I want Symbios to get the kill because I want Symbios to learn a freaking special ability. Because you know, when you're you're caster has a special ability and your hero doesn't. And 14 damage. So I can now one-shot bats with Symbios. So that's good. Alright, and we have our ranged weapons now too, but that's not going to do us any good at the moment. So... 
that's actually one reason why I wanted to make sure I picked them up, because switching weapons like that, uh, it does... different weapon levels count, so uh, all the experience we've learned on the lance will not transfer over to the spear. You, you start from scratch with the spear, but the spear is ranged, so each weapon has its own, you know, unique set of, of circumstances where it's useful. Not like Shining Force 2, where it was just always good to have one of each type available. This is, uh... This is more you have to, to pay attention, and in some cases, you have to grind. Oh! They can attack Symbios from there. How much damage are you gonna do? Three damage. Okay, not... Not terrible. Alright, so... Um, can't really do much of anything, because I can't hit anyone other than, uh, this guy. So we're gonna try... this dagger. And... Not bad! Nine damage! With a... kind of a crap weapon. However, I can't do anything against him at the moment, so we are going to... That's gonna lower my attack by just a fair bit more, but... And not do nearly as much damage as we need to. The only problem is, now we have these weapons as, you know... Uh, as what we would counter with. So, not always the best because our... our counter abilities are kind of important to have. Alright, so we're gonna have that Skaven come up here. The problem with this is we are in a, you know, uh, a, a, a narrow field of death. Alright, so there's really nowhere we can put Masker and where she's going to be still useful, but not, you know, in the means of a counter-attack. And we have a sword user against an axe wielder. But only four damage? I was expecting worse. Yeah, probably worse. Five damage. Okay. And... Symbios is going to get attacked again. However, I can take out that Sniper with the next attack from Symbios. Or I could go after the Skaven. Might go after the Skaven. Because, you know, he's a little more obnoxious at the moment. So. Uh, in fact, yeah, we're going to do that. We are going to equip our sword and hopefully learn a special attack off of this. And 11 damage? No. Alright, so... Back to the big weapons. Hopefully we'll get to see Lance Charge. Nope. Oh! 14 damage. Dunteris really just does not like to play around. Alright. Hayward, kill him. Kill him dead. Thank you. Probably should have gone after the, uh... The, the, the sniper. Alright, who needs healing? Uh, Obright, Dontaries, Symbios, and Hayward. Let's... Let's... Basically, everyone's taken a shot, so... Let's heal. Not that we're going to be too concerned. Like, the enemies are going to keep respawning, but... Kill you. And... Dead. Dead. You're dead. Alright. And the worm's going to come up, and a new Skaven's going to pop up. That worm's going to come around. Uh, let's... Kill him, because I don't like having him around. And now we're going to make a break for it and go up and get that treasure chest. Oh! 
some the her level with Symbios just went up. I think they're now trusted. All right, he can't hurt me at the moment. Let's see. Friendship, Masculine. Yeah, Masculine is trusted. So ally is the 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 base. Partner is level one. Trusted is level two. I need to figure out what all the levels are. All right, so we're gonna start moving forward. And start healing people as we're moving forward. Uh, Symbios could use a heal. And everyone else should be okay to last a little bit longer. I also haven't talked about it. I love Symbios' character design. His 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 view model is just amazing. I love the designs for this game. They get a little weird as the game progresses, like scenarios two and three, character designs are wonky. Alright, four damage. So we're gonna need to heal Obright. And we're gonna move up here so that we're not in the way. And... Symbios is going to be in a kind of tight place because he's going to be able to be hit by the... Uh... And we learned Sonic Wave! We've learned our first special attack. Excellent. Alright, let's... Uh, since we've already learned a special on everyone, let's go ahead and start learning uh, these. And in order to make sure I don't suffer too much attack loss, we're going to partner with Symbios to get the attack friendship bonus. To make sure he dies. And we got an antidote herb off of it. That's fine. I am okay with this. Carrying too much already. What we drop for the antidote herb? Nothing. So. And we'll... Move there. I need to move my healer and my caster up a little bit, because I don't like them being that far behind. So, we got that. And we need to heal Obright. Obright can heal himself with a medical herb. And... There we go. And the worm is going to appear, because they are just going to keep appearing until we get up there. So we're going to send two people over there. Someone to go get the treasure, and then someone to, uh... And I knew that was going to happen. That's fine, though. And four damage to Symbios. Not the best, but not the worst. So... We are just going to get out of that. And... Attack a barrel! I don't remember, I, this is probably the barrel with the antidote herb in it, which is not worth... No, it's not, so... I was about to say, it's not going to be worth having Dontarius get it, because his hands are full. Alright, is that boss... is that Skaven a boss? No, he's not. So we just have to make it through Dwarfhill. So... Alright, we're gonna send Obright up there. Symbios is gonna deal with the stuff that's coming up from the rear. Because at this point, Symbios is more than strong enough to deal with some of the stuff, so... And he's got support from, you know, people. So we're going to be fighting a, f a war on two fronts, which is something you never, ever want to do, but... Um... Unfortunately, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and kill that... That bat. That bat is just obnoxious. He's only going to do one point of damage, but it's the, the, the poison that's the issue. Alright, let's have... Um... Yeah, let's have Hayward do that. I need to send someone else up there with Obright, because Obright's not going to be enough to handle everything on his own. 
Um, I don't want to send my priest. I'll, I'll send Hayward. That's fine. Because Hayward and Obright should be enough to, to handle this. So. And the Skaven's going to come up and attack me. And we're going to need to heal Dontaries. And we're about out of time for this episode. So I'm going to need to end it here. So. Yeah, I'll actually go ahead and do that on Symbios' turn. So I'll end this episode here. I will see you guys in the next installment. So until uh, then, later everyone.